Okay, I'm here with Captain Susanna Darcy Henman, who is Chief Pilot, the Director of Flight Training at Boeing. Uh, what does a Chief Pilot in Boeing Flight Training actually do day to day? Probably my boss wants to know the answer to that too. But seriously, we have a number of campuses globally. We have one here in London, Gatwick, Singapore, Korea. We do work in Tokyo. We have a campus in Shanghai, three locations in Australia, Seattle, Atlanta, and Miami. Then we also have embedded training in Dubai, and we've done embedded training in Doha, Qatar. So that's about 512 instructors that are on the move. They're very mobile and very global, and ultimately they all work for me doing training. Okay. What do you think will be the biggest challenges in flight training going forward? I think the biggest challenges in flight training going forward is where we're going to get students from initially. As you know, we're going to increase how many airplanes are being built. There are a number of pilots retiring, and it's difficult for young people to get scholarships or to be able to enter aviation colleges and get their education. So I, I think that's going to be the big challenge. How do we encourage young people to get interested in aviation and stick with it through the whole training. Uh, do you think today's pilots are perhaps losing some of their basic skills in flying? I don't believe pilots today are losing their basic skills in flying. However, I do think it's a challenge if you're on the automation the whole time from takeoff to landing and you don't hand fly the airplane. That's why when I was still in flight test, we actually hand flew the airplane up to about 16,000 feet and then hand flew it um, coming out. So you do need some time to uh, do hand flying. However, I think the airlines are very conscious of that. We are too as a, as a training group, and we do put a lot of focus on making sure people keep up their skills. Okay, and, and given the reliability of aircraft and engines today, is it is also time for recurrent training to evolve? I believe it is time for recurrent training to evolve. So are we testing the best things during recurrent training? As you mentioned, engines are quite reliable now, and yet we spend a lot of time doing engine out work. So do we want to move more toward uh, training that looks at exactly what the challenges are today and keep that evolving as the challenges move forward, rather than really a syllabus that was written back in the 1950s? Okay. What, what does Boeing bring to flight training in terms of manufacturing the actual aircraft as well? I think we bring a lot to flight training as the airframe manufacturer because we have the engineering know-how. Our team has a lot of people that have flown the airplane, so we have a lot of best practices as the manufacturer that we have to offer to our students. Okay. Aircraft are now um, longer and longer range, just as you know full well. Uh, where do you stand on sort of crew flight time and fatigue issues? And do you think perhaps that cockpits of the future might need sort of biometrics or something like that to, to measure wakefulness in pilots? I hadn't considered that. There have been a lot of studies for ultra-long range flying, so there's a lot of data out there on what the best way to rest people is. And one of the things they've found is that a double rest works best you tend to sleep lighter during the first rest, and on the second one, you get a nice deep sleep, so pilots are rested. But I hadn't thought about biometrics in the flight deck. Okay. Um, the 777 has, 777 has been a phenomenally successful aircraft, uh, which Boeing now is seeking to develop uh, further with a proposed upgrade. As former chief uh, pilot, what would you do to improve it? What's on your wish list? Boy, that's a tough one. Uh, what would be on my wish list if I were still the 777 chief pilot? Very seriously, a more comfortable flight deck seat. The uh, 16G seats tend to be a little stiff uh, for me after about three or four hours. So how do you have a great 16G seat and yet one that uh, you're not kind of moving around to get your back comfortable? But outside of that, the fly-by-wire laws are perfect. Of course, you always want the latest in avionics, so I'm sure they're going to do an avionics upgrade. And of course, you always want to fly further and more efficiently. So anything to economize the airplane, which would be an interesting challenge because she's so good.